Hello everybody, welcome back to the Traction YouTube channel. Now for season 1 2022 on iRacing, I am doing the Global Mazda MX-5 Cup Track Guide series, which you can find right here on the Traction YouTube channel. But once every week, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is and enter a top split race. Now this week, we are at Okiyama Shorter Track, which is notoriously difficult to overtake on. As usual, we're going to start as far back as we possibly can, with the intention of moving as far forward as we possibly can before the end of the race. So we're starting P9. This one's going to be tough. Let's get on track. P9, 15 laps. Make them count. There we go. Okay, Dave. Nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. We're going to get a decent start. We've got people behind us today, though. Green, let's go, let's go. That guy on the right didn't get a very good start. Somebody ran into the back of him. That's us up one already. It's just nice and easy on this opening lap. Tyres are cold. Not really interested in making any moves unless something opens up. Car right. Hold your line. Clear right. There we go. It's another one. That's good. Oh, understeer. The tyres are super cold for for a couple of laps here. Takes a good three laps of them to get up to temp. Oh, where's he going? Good save, good save, Rodney. On your left, clear left, P5. <laughs> Left side, no! Oh, we glanced Sorry in there! That. Looks like it's Looking at the back behind me, so <laughs> I think he tried to blame me for that, I think. <laughs> That's up to P3, though. Need to stay in draft, really. If we can have any chance, hopefully these guys don't just pull away. The pole sit up is quick though with a 59.7. The leader has just done a 100.4 zero, zero seconds. P3, you've just done a 100.3 zero, zero seconds. Oh, it's an off track. Keep it pinned, Dave. Turning in early enough there. We've got draft now though. These guys aren't hanging around at the front. The leader's just done a one minute. That's a new fastest lap for Gallagher, 59.74. Better. Okay, Dave, gaining on this car, the gap is zero point three four. Right. So it's not been long this race, 15 laps. The 
Good. The leader has just done a 59.67. This guy's losing draft from the game front. Hopefully we can get this guy in front to overdrive a little bit. Just to open something up. Just testing the water. To run under him there. Left side. Clear left. The gap behind has now decreased to 0 0.21 P2. Sweet pass, mate. Thank you, Jim. Dave. Have we got anything for Jerome? No. no mistakes. We've got drafts. on the back of his car. He needs to get close enough to have a look at his paint job. A little bit closer, half a second. Please, no punt. Well, that's a good message to put in the back of your car. Don't worry, Jerome, you're in safe hands. I've said it now, haven't I? I've jinxed it. Loads of time left, half the race to go yet. Was a 59.61. Keep trying to grind him down a bit. One lap at a time. Make him push his tyres. While all the while we're trying to save ours. It was a bit hot into there. Alright Dave, keep piling on the pressure. He'll make a mistake. That's half distance. Fuel levels are fine. We don't want to get caught up in too much together and let Tommy catch up again. Everyone's definitely pushing though. Right. On your right. Still there. He's got on your right on his pins. On the right hand side as well. Clear right. 
have it. Nice one. You're now in the lead. This one's your own. Just ignore him, he'll go away. He's faster than you into first corner. The five more laps. You try and hold it together now. Hopefully those first few laps have taken it nice and easy. We'll pay dividends hopefully at the back end of the race. All right, Dave, we're matching race pace. That was a 59.82. He's now got company from Tommy. So hopefully they'll start battling. Give me a little bit of breathing room. And they are out of draft. increased to 1.5 seconds. Right. Four more to go. They're going to have a right battle towards the end of the race, those two as well. Gaps increasing. I didn't think Jerome would have given it up so easily though. He had the inside for turn number one. I thought he would have tried to hold it. So important to use the inside curbs here at Okiyama for that extra, extra rotation. Just pulls the car around nicely. So two to go. Gaps increased over two seconds now. Tommy's mm, still in touch with Jerome. Just there's a big gap. Two laps left. A lap ago, there's a big gap between those. A big gap between those two, but Tommy's caught up again. Guessing Jerome made some kind of mistake somewhere. It's nice and easy now. Don't need to push it now. Next week, we've got Jefferson. A track that I'm not really keen to race in, to be honest. You're in the lead. I got a small go kart track. Right, come on, then, one more. Come 
Come on, Dave. One more lap. Keep it together. We'll win this. That lap was a 1.00.3 zero, zero seconds. The lap times are pretty consistent. Two more turns. The gap behind is now 2.9 seconds. What the f What the f was that, dude? Sorry for the language. Well done, Dave. Great win. There we go. We've got the win. Today. Let's have a look at what happened to get us up to P1. So let's have a look, see what happened at the start. The green car didn't move, I don't think. I think the car behind ran into the back of him. We might not see that, or we do, just. So that was one position right at the very beginning. Then we overtook the number 10 car going into the left-hand uh, coming up. He did try and hold it around the outside, good effort, but... Not really going to do that on lap one with cold tyres. That was another one. And then we've got two positions. We go for a move on the number five, but we're not going to get it done. So we break early. And as expected, this guy outbreaks himself. But unfortunately for the guy in front, it takes him out as well. We just squeeze through there, thankfully. We've got a zero X there, but squeeze through. And that was a couple more positions up to P3, I think it was. Then we get a bit of a cheeky overtake on the number seven. So we'll go to the left, make him think that we're not going to attack and then quickly switch it over and get the inside line. And once he realizes we've got the inside, he backs off and that's us up to P2 chasing down the leader. So this is where we take the lead. We were bothering the number two car for probably a couple of laps, putting him under some pressure, making him look in his mirror constantly. And he makes a mistake going into the final turn. His line's all wrong. We get a much better exit. He holds the inside line as if he's going to defend. But we get such a good run that I think he realises the game's up. And he just backs off and gives us the position. And that was us. P1. And we held that position all the way to the very end. So there we go. We managed to get the win. Safety rating gain and an I rating gain. And one really close call where we nearly got taken out when that guy outbraked himself. For the first six or seven laps, that was really tricky to get by. But once we did, it was just a case of getting our head down, ticking off the laps and bringing it home P1. Next week, we go to Jefferson Circuit Summit Point. That's going to be a completely different ball game and absolutely chaotic. As always, thank you for watching. Good luck this week. Keep it pinned.